All right, boys and girls, boys and girls, boys and girls, we're going to be back on Bertha today again, and we're going to be doing the charcoal vapor canister. I have a check engine light on in my truck for the emission system, and when I looked it up, it was showing that it should be the evaporator canister. Why do I still have this? So let's get the scan tool. Let's do a scan. Let's see what it says, but when I googled it, it said that it was the charcoal canister or something or another. So, let's see if I bought the right part about a year ago, because if not, then I just spent some money that I can't get back. Alright, so on my truck, I have two ways I can check check engine light codes. One is with, the, with this 3150, the other one is with my radio. So, I have the iDatalink module on my radio so rpm miles per hour trans temp coolant fuel and you got preset one and preset two preset two i got external i got voltage throttle percentage egt map psi and i also have check engine light it's also showing that the hood is open and that the hatch is open which it is but it tells me the battery voltage And it shows me check engine. So if I hit check engine, it says P0049. And I also can reset uh, check engine lights as well. But this one goes off and then it comes literally right back. So let's check it with the scan tool. Radio set P0449 or whatever it said. And same thing here, P0449, and it says EVAP, vent solenoid control valve circuit, which seems to be a very common issue. So severity, one of three, basically saying, yeah, it's messed up, but nothing's going to be affected by it. I googled it, went on Amazon, read the reviews, and people had the same issues I had, so I bought this which i guess is the evap something or another uh i don't know but i've had it for probably a solid year so with this this has like the newer style connector on it so i also had to buy this adapter harness as well so i guess they changed the style connector and you have to buy when you buy the new one uh you also have to buy the new connector or at least that's what it says like i've had so from my understanding it is above the spare tire so i'm gonna drop the spare tire down is out harness the adapter harness uh i take it it's going to plug in right here like so I guess we're going to push the red part down to keep it from coming out so now let's get under the truck and let's try to figure out where this goes all right so going under you have your spare tire holder this is towards the back of the truck this is towards the front of the truck here we have the evap canister you have the one line that goes up to your filler neck and then you have the line that goes to the evap box thing with jigger right there now this is going to be the bolt that attaches this to the body why they didn't do a captive nut or something i don't know but i believe this is a 13 millimeter so i'm just going to get my 13 millimeter wrench go in from this side and remove that bolt i already disconnected the negative terminal on the battery so let's get to taking this out and kind of start uh, unplugging stuff and getting everything out the bolt is out <clears throat> and now i'm taking that this bracket will just come off and drop all sorts of dirt in my mouth 
I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more flexible so that I could get this wiring harness off. Be careful. Try not to break the plastic that may. I can't do this with one hand. Oh, yeah, I can. All right, so the harness is off. So now, get me some wire, some wire cutters. Cut these zip ties off. And let's see how that is connected up there to the filler neck. Move over here. We're going to cut these zip ties because we need to get this loose here. So just make sure that you cut the zip. Oh, cut the zip ties and nothing else. Make sure you have on safety glasses or safety squints because it's more dirt and grime dropping. And I believe there's one more, for me at least. Then this pulls straight down. All right. On the white plastic part, you're just going to push down on it. And when you push down on it, it pushes the teeth out. And then you can just uh, disconnect it. So this one, I don't know what y'all can see. But it's this one right here. I'm about to get a longer screwdriver. But basically, I'm going to push up on that and then just pull it out. I'll give you all the better view. This is going to be towards the rear of the vehicle. This is going to be towards the front of the vehicle. This is the one that you want to take loose. So you can take a flathead or something and just stick it in there. Pull it off. I don't know if I can sit my phone anywhere to where you can see this. But the GoPro wasn't fitting in there. Oh, here. So I took the screwdriver and I pressed it. And then it comes uh, right off, just like that. Now, mind you, <clears throat> I'm six foot one, 220 pounds. I'm doing this on flat ground. If you are a, a little more hefty than I am, you might not be able to do this with the truck on the ground because it's a tight squeeze for me. So just keep that in mind. If, you, if you're a smaller guy, perfect. You're a little bit more fluffy might be a little bit more challenging for you that we have everything disconnected we should be able to start pulling this out now this uh the one that runs to the evap it just goes over the frame and just right straight to the evap so we should be able to start removing the old evap so no way canister whatever just kind of walk what is this bracket holding on to just kind of walk this out pull the pull the breather out and then the connector from the canister should come out this is the upgraded part um it comes with zip ties already so you can just take these wrap them around zip ties so you don't need zip ties with this particular one you need the adapter harness so that it connects to the factory connector and you got the bracket that should work the new bracket fits and lines up just fine with the hole uh, I went ahead and ran the connector up to the vapor canister but basically, it's going to plug right there on that connector. Just push it in there. That's all you got to do. And then just give it a little tug. Make sure it ain't coming out. Just like that. She is connected. Give her a tug. She ain't coming out. She gave a nice firm click. So we should be good to go. 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter bolt is in. We're going to go ahead and connect 
the harness to the adapter snaps into place uh, I will get a zip tie and zip tie that somewhere so it's not just dangling dangling around and then last but not least let's run this thingamabobba up and over safety squints don't forget your safety squints and then I'm going to zip tie this up here somewhere all right harness zip tied oh the little breather thing is zip tied and I have it tucked in between the two hoses so that it doesn't rattle or anything but yeah let's go reconnect uh, the battery and let's see if our check engine light is now going away battery reconnected let's see what we got here oh clunky oh no lights nice all right let's plug up the obd reader yeah so everything is good to go so that means that my auto start should now work again <laughs> does it work with the hood open i don't know oh my remote start works again that is so nice so that light has been on for probably two years and i've had that part for probably a year i'll pull up when i ordered it from amazon but i've had it for a while it's been going from my truck to the garage it's fixed everything works my auto start works and i think i get two auto starts before i gotta put the key in oh oh my goodness that is so nice make sure you work on your stuff and you fix your stuff like i don't i don't know if that affected um the fuel mileage or anything like that at least my auto start works now and i have no check engine light so i fixed the vapor canister solenoid thing in the video before this i fixed the airbag sensor so now i have no lights on my dash which is not bad for a 17 year old truck it only has 175,000 miles on or something like that but it's all good to go dash is all clear it took me like a year plus to fix that everything that you do take care of your projects or your projects and your dailies and your road trip vehicles and whatever will take care of you so think build enjoy i know y'all like this escalade key with the gmc on the back had this for like seven years peace